society, of course, wants to put everybody in a nice, convenient box because it's easy for people to process. But whether it's sexuality, whether it's race, it doesn't matter. We're humans. We don't belong in boxes. I am Corey Allen. I am a 20-year law enforcement veteran as well as military, an author as well. Car nut, car guru, dog dad, cat dad, fiance, just a goofy, all around human. I had really early interactions with law enforcement when they would come break up, you know, the domestic altercations between mom and her then boyfriend. Um, so that really left an imprint on me uh, as an individual. And so a couple years later, I applied to the same police department that I used to call for help. When I entered the career field, I was still closeted and I still had a lot of self-loathing. It just became this thing that I accept that I had to live two different lives because I loved what I was doing. I was working for a conservative sheriff's office so I could have been fired if people found out that I was gay. And then I wanted to go federal just to get out of that arena in hopes of having equality and some better protections. So I got hired to the Secret Service in January of 2010, relocated to Miami, and then I was with the Secret Service for almost 10 years. Went back to DC, protected the Obamas, um, as well as other all kinds of criminal investigations before I left for California to kind of retool my life. It wasn't until I went to the Obama division that I was surrounded by amazing, diverse people. My shift leader was female. We were super close and we became family as we traveled the world with them and we had to rely on each other. And at that point I started processing to go through a divorce and, and dealing with all that. And we leaned heavily on each other, really out of necessity, but then they just embraced me for who I am and I could talk to them openly about the divorce or my dating life or whatever was going on in my life. When you go out and you affect the plan, like with the Secret Service, whether it was the Pope was in town and I was on the parade route and I had to ensure that the Pope enters my zone, I was responsible for all of it. So as the Pope passed by in his Pope mobile, and of course, you know, my hair was on point that day because the cameras were all on me, which is uh, known ahead of time. But as soon as they exit my zone and you like have this massive sigh of relief that, okay, we did it. This was amazing. It's been, you know, 20 hour days leading up to that point. But the moment they are off the tarmac or out of your zone safely, just an amazing sigh of relief of like, we did it. We got the president off the ground. Hello, everybody. My name is Corey Allen and my debut book, Breaking Free, just came out. It is a memoir about a gay secret service agent. That's me. Best way to describe it is a mix between these two, except unlike this one, it is true because I protected these two amazing people. So since it came out, it's been great. I've had people come out to me. Uh, they reach out to me at gay law enforcement on social media, um, send me DMs and, and tell me their story and come out to me. Or, you know, one guy Googles himself every day to make sure that he's not outed. It's awareness that there is a need for us to talk about these things because it's not just law enforcement, it's other career fields where minorities aren't welcomed, they're not in positions where they need to be, they're not recognized, they're not given the voice that they need. We have work to do regarding being queer in law enforcement. You know, there's a gay Facebook group. Um, so there is some support, but there's no national organization focused on LGBT law enforcement. I would love to be part of something, creating something like that, because that would have been really, really helpful for me 20 years ago and up through the last 15, really. I get a lot of DMs from people and I, I, I love getting them. It's a lot to keep up with, but at the same time, if that means I'm helping somebody, then that's, that's your only outlet and that's your safe space. Then you've, you've got to take whatever is available to you to make sure you come through it uh, on the other end with who you really are. Because at the end of the day, we all just want to be accepted and loved for who we are.